Hello, I'm Braxton. And I'm Scott. And we're playing Sly Cooper. <laughs> Alright, so this is the intro of the game. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever played Sly Cooper before? I've never played Sly Cooper at all. This is my first time. Alright, so I've played all the games. It's really good, so yeah. <laughs> well, then I'm in for a treat, then. Yes, yes, yes you are. Alright, so, they'll basically explain the story in the game, pretty much. Okay, so you right. learn as you go along? You learn as you go along. If there's, uh, if you have any questions, by the way, you can just say whatever you need to say. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so, we're just gonna start a new game. Here we go. Fly! Come in! Fly! <laughs> Do you read me? Fly! Come in! Fly! Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry. I'm okay, so a he's a turtle. Nervous. Okay. Trying and he's a raccoon. Makes sense. Alright. Get over Because raccoons are bad. in the van. Yeah. I'm the thief here. Makes sense. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Alright, so he's your he's Scout his friend, Bentley. Totally okay, his name's to Bentley and his name's Sly. You're gonna have to go <laughs> okay. through that air vent. Alright, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. I can tell that guy's already gonna be obnoxious. <laughs> he, he's better in the se in the sequel. Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Let me just change the freaking camp. Uh... Oh yeah. Spoiler: you get a jetpack. <laughs> oh wow! Thanks. Thanks for ruining the whole entire game for me now. All right. All right. Might as well just move to the second game because now it's ruined. Or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. We can be according just to my research, during the, uh, all you have to do is get near scenes, them I guess, and hold down the circle or button, and all right. you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. All right, so this is a super sneaky master thief. Oh, is it? <laughs> Shimmying? <laughs> Shimmy. Shimmying. Yep. <laughs> Never seen that one before. So when's the first time you played this game? I played this in maybe like 2005, I think. Oh, and then obviously you played it like a few days ago to get... Yeah, just to get reacquainted. To get reacquainted with it. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. The red door. Gee, yep. I wonder which one that could be. <laughs> that door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. <laughs> See, we're lucky I'm not playing this game because I wouldn't know what I'd be, Sly. what I'm supposed this to be is doing. Where Inspector Carmelita Fox right. All her important <laughs> files. So you'll see her later. Okay. And discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in nine three seven. This is really eventful so far. Yeah, it is. It's r a really eventful game. You'll it'll explain who all the characters are in a second. Oh, okay. You, uh, nice job. After this tutorial You're level, fine. basically. If you okay. Come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot. We'll be waiting in the getaway van. <laughs> is this a getaway van? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Criminal! <laughs> oh, okay, so that's who that is. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you'll oh see. my... What does he mean by that? <laughs> and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey... You know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. Yeah, so he likes her. <laughs> this is oh, obviously. A paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once this dude's a smug SOB. He is smug, okay. But I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough.
Wow, she didn't really do a good job barricading <laughs> that. Oh, she, she has <laughs> some very crap aim. Yeah, she really does. She couldn't hit the blind side <laughs> of a barn, dude. And I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, this has a very unique art style. style. Yeah, it does. Really I like nice. it. It looks really it good. It's like kind of comic like. I think. Yeah. It's really most nice. valued treasure. So when did this game come out? Two thousand two. Bouncing Almost on my seriously. father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. <laughs> well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... The Thievius Raccoonus. Oh no. Our mm -hmm. family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Oh Today yeah, I could tell that just based on the my first time I saw him. <laughs> I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail. Or die. My family name to bite the dust. <laughs> so yeah, basically Sly is the one who goes out there and does all the stuff. Bentley is kind of the one who figures stuff out. And uh, Murray that is just there. Nice mm. back there <laughs> I'm getting some serious Star Fox type Come vibes from this game. Yeah. Your old got You'll see more in the computer. sequels of uh, Bentley and Murray a lot more involved. Are they? Which is a very good thing, I think. But yeah, in this game you're pretty much just playing as Sly. Oh. But it's it's really good because you get to see the inner you see the interaction between uh, Bentley and Murray and so things. Pretty well, it's cool. early beginnings. I'm sure they flesh yeah. it out more in the other two games. <laughs> yeah, Murray eating a uh, popcorn. Oh, you want one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna say you want. Sorry, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've already plotted a route to our first target. All right, so this is our first target, which is uh, one of the uh, five people who took a. Uh, our book. And we we took to our it. book. Yeah, so basically this game you're just, uh, you're going through five different areas trying to collect pages for this, uh, Thievius Raccoonus, which is his, uh, his I've ancient book that he, be, uh, that he really wants. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. This is the villain. <laughs> As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, <laughs> got he tried his hand at a bit yeah. of privacy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath. A small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh Triangle. Oh, I like how it's got the art style of like an old cartoon or something. Yeah. It's really cool. I like, yeah, that's what I really like about the cutscenes here too. It's, it's got a lot of charm in it. Yeah. Keep out, now we're going right in. Yeah, we're going in. <laughs> hey Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, the signature climb you can only move. climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, <laughs> but do 
not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Oh, but yeah, yeah you, can, you, can <laughs> you can control their heads. heads. You can control their heads with the analog <laughs> sticks. Now this is very interesting. The message yeah, you can pretty much kill everything anything on one hit in this game. In the sequels, they you'll see the why. So yeah, those clue bottles I just got, if you basically, if you collect all of them in a level, you can get a, a you get another move, basically like an extra ability. Oh, so, they're, cool. so yeah, so they're really good to collect. Of course, uh, I'll, link, I'll, like, I'll show it off in the first level or so, but I probably won't go for them, really. Mm -hmm. We are, well, we already know one of the special moves is climb. <laughs> So. I think that's just like a default ability. Oh, has. okay. I thought that was like a special move. So I was gonna say that's not really special. There's nothing special about climbing. Right. <laughs> According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> yeah, why is it always raining? Yeah, so I guess his machine is like a storm machine, so it causes rain and stuff. And that's supposed to scare people away or make his island more ominous or something? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh it, shit, it's raining here, I can't go here. Right, <laughs> in the uh, in the opening he, uh, he liked piracy, like, kind of like being a pirate and stuff, so the rain uh, makes basically surrounding ships uh, really can't can't see stuff so they get in wrecks and stuff and that's what why ah, he likes Oh, okay, it. that makes sense. Yeah. This guy needs to get a better line of defense to his blimp thing because yeah. these guys just swinging a hammer in one direction aren't really doing the job. <laughs> Dude needs to get better bodyguards or something. <laughs> that large vault has got to be somehow related all right, yeah, so that's related to the clues. If you get all of them, you can open it. All the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. And those are the last two I need. Okay. And then you're able to finally open the vault. Yep. Is it the same combination as last time? No. no okay. Every, good. All of them have different combinations. That is what I did. <laughs> the clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is seven nine two. From the Thievius Raccoon. That was easy. This yep. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. The heck's the point of just having the page in a vault in the middle of the island? <laughs> you would think it'd be under high, like, more security than that. Nope. <laughs> the dude just sticks it right out in the middle of the island and expects you not to know that it's there. Well, he wouldn't, he, he didn't think we'd get all the clues. Alright, so that's the attack we just got. Oh what? my... Oh wait. my gosh. Wait. Wait, are you still alive? I should be dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, that was just... <laughs> wait, did it... It still counted. Oh good. So I just gotta go and beat the level now. <laughs> I never did that before. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just don't do it again.
<laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> yeah, so it was like a little map, basically. Oh, it takes you different areas. Yeah. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan <laughs> is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. He <laughs> put to the power generator right next to the gate Raleigh's thing. Treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the I don't know what reports part? this Hi. Bentley guy was I reading, but you. if he's saying this guy's I smart, I want to see those reports because this dude's a dumb. <laughs> this dude's <laughs> dumb. It. It's your funeral. <laughs> puts the page in the middle of the level. Has an electric fence thing, but puts the generator right next to it to destroy it. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Alright, so yeah, basically, in this game, you don't have a health bar, you just die in one hit, unless you have a lucky charm, then uh, oh, okay. you'll, you can take two hits. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, go to these green areas, it'll take you to the other levels to get uh, the keys Better at the end of the level. Better close doors! Jump and press the square button, that'll slam them shut! Alright. While you're at it. Slide, right. hold down the circle button. He's sitting here trying to explain everything, and you don't need none of it. Bentley, I know. I know you need to press the circle button. Yeah, Bentley, That's you need to shut up. Everything in this game is jumping in the circle <laughs> button, or press hold and circle button. It's basically the context sensitive move for this game. That's what I'm seeming to notice, too. Oh! What? Oh my gosh! I jumped right through it. Okay, okay, I won't do that. <laughs> I don't sure. really care about the glue bottles. <laughs> I've seen how the story plays out. You say I won't do that again, and sure enough, you do it again. Oh, I, I was I ran through it and don't uh, think I forgot about Odyssey. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it took you. It, who was it? You or or Zach? It took one of you guys like oh the one freaking like 20, boss. 30 times to make it through that one boss. And then there was also the time when it was that the was underground me. level at the New Donk City where yeah, you kept dying right. at that one part. Oh my god! <laughs> so usually when we say that won't happen again, that means it's gonna happen another 30 times. <laughs> at least in my case. Okay. Oh, if you get a hundred coins, you get a lucky charm, so I just got an extra hit here. Okay, cool. That was kind of close, actually. Cowboys. That's a really cool part of the level. <laughs> Going through like... Yeah. So basically that was like... The furnace fire level, I guess. Of this okay. World. Oh, are there gonna be the... The, like, like the checklist of levels, like in all every other platformer game, uh, where it's like, here's not, a water level, and then not here's Not necessarily. A... Uh, there are for some worlds, but not for every world. Okay. 
you'll see the different uh you know what i'm talking about like the classic yeah like the classic <laughs> grass world water world this Ice game doesn't world. really yeah this game kind of defers from the norm there are themes okay. to the Jackpot levels slide. look at all this stuff but uh they aren't millions. really they don't and really you know conform to anything tighter security you're gonna have to be extra sneaky to get the treasure key here all right bentley thank you for your efforts thank you bentley very cool <laughs> these clues. Alright, we'll get all the clues in this level. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so with lasers, you can hit them once and they'll go into like a kind of like an alarm mode and that, uh, that'll cause them to uh, kill you if you hit them again. So hitting them twice kills you. The first time doesn't do anything except, oh, activate, okay. except activate alarm mode pretty much. Oh. So they hit you, and then they go into kill mode. Yeah, pretty okay. much. I got you. Get these over here. Another dumb thing from our frog friend. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't know how to defend things very well. It's like well. that through the whole game, too. <laughs> Alright. Who knew the thieves of the raccoonus book with it? Worst thieves. They had the book from like like that book's supposed to teach you the best thieving yeah, like, techniques, it's isn't like, it? And they and they learned nothing from it. They've learned absolutely nothing. Which leads you to believe: Are they just like, are they keep, trying to keep, keep it from Sly himself? Ah, uh, no, nah, no, nah, man. They're just playing a joke, man. They're just playing a joke. Pranked. You just got pranked. Pranked. Just got pranked. Yeah. It was all a prank. <laughs> they thought it'd be a funny joke to play. Yeah, kill his parents. Very funny. Very funny, yeah. <laughs> that was nice. I like the little First. doot 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 sound that plays as yeah, you sneak yeah. it around the corner. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh, it speeds up or slows down based on how fast. That's that's awesome. Yeah, it's I I like, I like that little games attention. of charm like that. It's really funny. I like those little attentions to detail. Oh, I didn't open the vault. Oops. Oh well, now <laughs> we'll go back and open it real quick. Oh. <laughs> What was even in there? It wasn't another page, right? Uh, yeah, they all have been. Oh, well, I was gonna say, I guess we're gonna be missing a big part of the book. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not gonna collect the, all the pages, but it's whatever. We beat the bosses, pretty much. That's okay, you can just come in here, collect the vault, and then you can exit the level. You don't actually have to beat it again. Okay. Oh, he just expertly jumped over to that right there. Yeah, he did. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. I'm sure Bentley. Whoa. It's groundbreaking. <laughs> 436? They need to get higher vault numbers than three numbers. I think that's pretty easy to crack. Interesting. <laughs> Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon. Roll. Okay, this one is actually Story's one of the more great. useful uh, abilities. Because it allows you to move faster, pretty much. Oh. You have less control room. over your movement, your okay. but uh, you move and faster, R2. so... If you're going in, like, a straight line, it allows you to go faster. I like the little calling card he leaves every single time that he yeah, takes that he, something. Yeah, that's a classic Cooper thing to do. I love that, that. In all the sequels as well. Both of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all cute and some ball out.